In recent TikTok trends, it become evident that the Roman Empire is very relevant to this day and this goes beyond gender, nationality or creed. But why? Why Rome is so important to us all? Join us while we explore the Roman legacy and answer once and for all why Rome is important to every man and woman in our society. To understand the reasoning on why the Roman Empire is important, it's essential to first understand the larger human history and our evolutionary journey. The transition from early humans to our modern civilization is the key to this understanding. When our species first emerged, we are not superior in any way to animals. The lifestyle of our ancestors, the cavemen, is a far cry from the world we inhabit today. They were homo sapiens, just like us nowadays, indistinguishable from any person you can meet in the street. However, they lived miserable lives, living up to around 30 years of age. It is very different from our modern standards, where we live approximately 70 to 80 years of age. Their period is an extensive period, ranging from approximately 2.5 million years ago to 10,000 BC, or around 99.84% of all human history. And it remains relatively underrepresented in popular culture, including literature and cinema. The scarcity of representation brings to light that this period have a limited appeal. Almost all movies, books, tales, songs are written about a period which comprises a total of 4,000 years of history. Everything our ancestors saw and lived is beyond our imagination, or simply is too uninteresting to virtually no one to write anything interesting about it. We have some comedies, which usually includes dinosaurs living among humans, and that's pretty much it. Our ancestors, during their time, lived short and difficult lives, constantly hungry and in harsh living conditions. In fact, the living conditions during this period would make the poor person of today appear astronomically rich. The constant search for food and meeting the basic needs has left little room for activities such as contemplation, exploration or the development of complex societies. During this extensive period, human existence looked like more like the life of animals and we are simply not inspired by the lowest point we ever got. Around 10,000 BC, a significant transformation occurred, the invention of agriculture. This key development enabled our ancestors to move beyond the constant struggle for survival, freeing up their minds for more diverse activities. It still took several thousand of years, but humanity progressed. Newfound skills such as metalworking appeared, starting the Bronze Age and later the Iron Age. These periods began to captivate storytellers and myth-makers, serving as a fertile ground for creation of captivating stories. Many of the myths and pantheons of gods that have endured throughout the ages likely have originated during these eras. These mythological figures likely drew inspiration from historical individuals whose lack of written records allowed their lives to be embellished with supernatural attributes like immortality and other extraordinary qualities. It's worth to note that while the mythology and deities of this era remain captivating, they may not hold the same level of belief or resonance with modern-day individuals. For current-day society, the tales of the gods and legendary figures may be as engaging and as compelling as a TV series, a captivating video game narrative or a well-crafted work of fiction, but not as something which resembles true life. Among these legendary periods, Rome started to enter in the historical stage. In its early days, Rome appeared as little more than yet another captivating mythological city. Its origins and initial half-millennium is covered in obscurity, myths and legends. The historical record starts to give us the first grasp on authentic history and, more importantly, the life of real human beings. 
Interestingly, the Greek cities were among the first to have a more acute understanding of differentiating between legendary narratives and the documented chronicles of history. Finally, we encounter true historical figures, individuals who left a true mark on history rather than supernatural entities throwing thunderbolts from their hands or firing laser beams from their eyes. It was a Greek scholar by the name Herodotus who pioneered the discipline of historical recording, distinguishing the realm of facts from the domain of myths. Rome stands almost unique in history. In the transitional period from the decline of the Republic to the down of the Empire, Rome underwent to a profound metamorphosis. Leaving much of myth and legend behind to emerge as a model of civilization that the Greek philosophers could only dream about and being a model for a modern society. The Romans created a society that was the embodiment of progress. They created the judicial system as we know it, created plumbing systems and sewers, built an extensive network of roads, established a model for our postal service, organized great public entertainment, created majestical architectural buildings, and patronized art and culture. With their public baths, they separated what's a citizen from a barbarian, and through the power of their army, they established the Pax Romana, a period of unprecedented peace and stability in the story of humanity. Rome represented the very ideals that modern societies strive to emulate. This transformation was not accidental, it was a deliberate choice. Rome possessed a deep awareness of the primitive world that inhabited, aware of the shadow of barbarism which permeated the world in the Dark Age after the end of the Bronze Age. The Roman vision was clear to lead the way into the future, and the future was a world where everywhere will be Rome. While it's undeniable that Rome also had its flaws, including the institution of slavery, which basically prevented its society to industrialize. It's worth to remember that the practice was not unique to Rome. It was instituted into the Americas until not long ago. While in Europe, basically, it was called by other name as serfdom, but it had very much in common with the old slavery. Indeed, many peoples up until the 19th century modern societies did exactly the same as the Romans or worse. In some aspects, the conditions of Roman slavery were less severe than their 19th century counterparts. Rome, in its grandeur and complexity, remains an enduring testament to the heights that human civilization can reach when driven by vision and ambition. In our times, it is evident that our society is in decadence. There are challenges noticeable to all who look. Inflation, never-ending wars, war the population, pandemics, crises over crises that resonates to the ear of the listener too similar to the fall of Rome itself. However, a unifying force persists, binding us together. The Roman dream of a world where is Rome everywhere may be rusted, but not forgotten. A lot of labels have been given, whether it will be the Western world, the first world, the occidental world, the new world in Europe, the modern civilization, or just the whole world. It's like there is a hidden bigger civilization which we are all part of, and is there, but at the same time, is not really there. It's an identity we cannot name, which sometimes seems lost, but yet, in a lot of times, seems that is still there. There is only one name that transcends time and place, resonating throughout the ages, and that name is Rome. Throughout history, countless civilizations tried to forge a better way of life. Rome, however, is the one who achieved this feat thousands of years ago, and today we and our societies try to emulate it. We are still part of the melting pot of Rome, as long as we behave as educated, civilized peoples and not barbarians, we are Romans. 
But going back to what happened in the past, after the fall of Rome, we found ourselves in a challenging era known as the medieval ages. It was a time when the foundations of civilization appeared to crumble and the people were faced with profound uncertainty. In response to this difficult period, callbacks to the past appeared, such as the Holy Roman Empire, the Russian Empire, the English Empire, the Italian Renaissance, Napoleonic France, all drawing inspiration from the enduring legacy of Rome. Across the world, several societies and rulers tried to emulate the splendor of Rome by establishing their own empires and democracies, and also by implementing similar laws based on the Roman laws, using the Latin alphabet to write their own language, adopting the Christian religion, which was the religion adopted by the empire, and more, much more. Rome stands as the archetype of the ideal civilization, representing what we aspire to be. Regrettably, it is sometimes regarded for some as a relic from the past. Deep within our collective consciousness, we recognize that the very idea of Rome persists within our hearts and minds. Rome never fell. And that's the answer for the question on why Rome is important. Rome still lives inside our collective minds, and we, in our subconscious, are still Romans. If you like this video, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Tibi gratis ago pro Bidilabu.